Come with me to pack my pump bag. If you haven't already grabbed my Pumping Moms checklist, grab it because this is how I remember to put anything in. Starting with my bag, you can use any bag that you want, but I really find that when you have a pump bag that makes you smile, you are more willing to pump. So this is the Sarah Wells Fiona bag. I love it because it has all the pockets. Let me show you what I put in it. Your pump. I do not leave my house without a primary pump. That means that I can have to go and leave my house for five days. This is the only pump that I would need. This is the Pumpables Genie Advance. I also like to attach all of the parts to it. That means I just know that all of this is here and together. So I'm gonna put this in my bag. If I'm going somewhere or I just like to have it, you can keep a wearable in your pump as well. But remember that I don't suggest using a wearable pump more than two times a day. So if you wanna have it as an extra, go ahead and stick that in too. This is the Mom Cozy M5. Next, we have pump parts, phalanges attached to bottles. Make sure your duck bills are already there. Again, I like everything fully assembled. So I put this in my wonderful Lisa Frank, <laughs> be my best friend bag. I will stick this in here and keep it in here. I also will use this once my pump parts are dirty, I will stick it in here as well. If I am planning to reuse these parts again, I will also stick an ice pack in it. Putting an ice bag inside will only keep this cold for a little bit. So if you're trying to keep it cold throughout the day, you can put your pump parts in a cooler bag instead, and that will be like the fridge hack on the go. If you're doing that option, this is the Sarah Wells Cold Gold. You put it in with the ice pack that it comes in. I stick it here at the bottom, and you put the pump parts in. They're dirty. They're going to make it a little dirty. You'll wipe it down, close it, and then this can go in one of these side pockets or you can put it directly in, and this is where your dirty phalanges will stay if you want to reuse them. Dapple breast pump wipes are another great way to clean your phalanges on the go. You just wipe it down. If you don't want to use the fridge hack on the go and you don't have space for extra phalanges or you don't have them, I always keep these in my bag in the front pocket just as a just in case. I don't often use them, but it doesn't hurt to have them. They also work on bottles that fall and pacifiers that fall. Some people will choose to just bring extra sets of phalanges. I would often take two or three with me if I had the space because I just wanted to use clean ones. Next, you gotta keep your milk cold. So I obviously travel with these series chill. Choose your size. Choose what works better for you and how much milk you're going to have. I pour it directly into here, stays cold throughout the day, or I add ice to the inner chamber. If you don't have the series chill and you wanna just use a cooler bag, here are your options. Number one, you can pour your milk directly into a storage bottle or a silicone bag, and then you can go ahead and put those into your cold gold. It can be this one, it can be any cooler bag from anywhere with an ice pack. Fun fact, if you want, you can pump directly into these large bottles. When you're done, you take it off, put on the cap, and stick it into your cooler bag. This also works for Avent bottles. They work on the wide neck flanges. Next, we need our pump charger and or battery pack. You do not want to be stuck somewhere with no juice in that pump. I just keep this with me. There's no problems to be had, my friends. Take this container with me and I put some coconut oil in it. It shuts really, really tight and it never leaks. It also fits in the back of the hole of the Spectra or I just put it in the bag straight or I put it in my wet dry bag. Right before I pump, I'm always putting it right on my nipples. So I just have it with me, especially coconut oil in the heat will turn into complete liquid. So you want something that seals really, really, really tight. If you're traveling with your baby, I love this portable bottle warmer. It's so easy and simple to use and affordable. I just keep it with me at all times, just in case my baby needs it. Yes, I would prefer my baby take cold milk. My baby won't. What are we gonna do? Portable bottle warmer. When I traveled with my kids, I oftentimes had a pump bag and a separate diaper bag. I just felt like I had so much stuff in my pump bag and I also didn't always need to bring it. Sometimes I would leave it in the car. But if you're at the stage where you feel like you can just have everything in one, I go ahead, I put diapers, wipes, you can put a kid's change of clothing, a change of clothing for you. Anything else that you find that you might need. If you need massagers, if you need, um, formula, if you need a change of bra, a change of t-shirt, a diaper cloth, anything that you need, stick it into your pump bra, do not pump bags. Don't forget to grab the Pumping Moms checklist for all the information you need. Just put it on, put me on your fridge and do a quick glance before you leave the house. This way you're not stuck in the middle of nowhere wondering where your duck bill is.